So I got a camera set up in the tractor already, okay. up by the monitor. So all you gotta do is there's this button on the side. Uh -huh. You hold that down for a couple seconds. It turns on. And then there's this button on the top. Okay. Okay. And, and that records. Okay. So you hear it. It beeps once. There's numbers on it. It records. You touch it again. It beeps a few times. It's done. Okay. So I'm gonna be gone. They're gonna plant the organic yeah. over the weekend. I'm not gonna be here. Mm -hmm. So I want you to attempt to vlog. Okay. Do I look excited. <laughs> yeah. Pound seed. Oh okay. no, wait, no, this stuff, there, I lied, this stuff's heavier. This stuff is like 50, this is stuff's 50 pounds. What about 50 pound seed, Carson? 20? Yeah, I just started 20 and then just recording that. And then we don't have any graphite in this stuff. Uh, what, what's your population, do you want, Chris? Uh, probably 30, what do you think, 37, 37, 5 around the Andros? I hit the population there, what, uh. Go, go back to the screen you were at. That one? Yeah, that one had it right. Now, remember on this planter, it's really stupid. You can't do 37.5, you can't do 37 or 38. You can't do 37,500? No, they have a bug in the system, you can't do halves. What? It's stupid. Yeah, so anyway, you said earlier Carson is uh, he's at his girlfriend's today. Chris, he's he helped me quite a bit this morning, but he's home this afternoon. Uh, he's babysitting his his newborn, the seventh generation farmer, a little boy. He might, hopefully, he maybe comes out here a little later, and uh, we got a fill in about a short hour. Maybe, uh, maybe my grandson can ride along for the first time. It's a grandson, my first grandson on both sides of the family, so that's kind of neat. So yeah. Kind of an enjoyable day. I decided today that I'm getting old because I've had the radio on and for the local rock station we all listen to in high school, uh, child of the 80s, early 90s, they uh, then the rap came and I kind of listened to more country so anyway then Somewhere along the line, my high school rock station went to classic rock. So that was perfect between country and uh, the top 40 type stuff I was listening to in high school. I always kind of spread, spend my time between the two stations, but now the classic rock station is, is now playing songs that are newer than when I stopped listening to Top 40 the first time. So I guess that means I need to get to a, an older oldie station because uh, it's kind of sad when you, you listen to the old the oldie, the oldie station and uh, the songs are newer than you remember. Anyway that's what I learned today sitting in a tractor for the day. So anyway, yeah, down to the last uh, 70 acres. Only a little after four, we're doing pretty good. Let's see how it goes. Okay, we're on our second field of the day. We got two fields of organic, this is the second one. Um, first field took us an hour to make it around the field on the phone with Carson the whole time, trying to figure out what we were doing wrong. Uh, since then it's been going pretty good. We got one row that's something a little funky. I don't know if it's a drive motor or if there's something catching in the unit, but uh, been fighting that a little bit all day long. The uh, some of these organic fields they just work up beautifully. 
just it's just like a garden out here. It's pretty kind of hard to see through Carson's dirty windows, but yeah, everything's working good. I, all these monitors are all kind of new to me. I grew up in a planter like this, but the uh, John Deere controls are all new. So anyway, like I say, this field has really worked up nice. That's a field we planted. Uh, I have no idea what you can see or can't see. I think four weeks ago, almost four weeks ago. That's looking very pretty. Uh, this farm itself is kind of neat. Kind of neat to me because uh, this farm was a good friend of my grandfather's. Uh, so my grandfather spent a lot of time, him and Les spent a lot of time working back and forth together on hay and different things. So kind of neat when uh, Les passed away, his family members were pulled out of the area. And they came to us and sold us the farm. So it's one of these that are a little more dear than some of the others. Anyway, we're running along. Uh, our stimulation is good. We're, we've got 1% multiples and 1% skips. I think that's about as good as we can get. Um, I use Carson's boundary control around this farm. That actually worked good was easier than I thought. So yeah, moving right along. One row acted up again. We're going to go out and see what we can do. Okay, because that one unit's been acting up so much, I switched uh, switched a couple of the row units. Hoping we can figure out if it's uh, the meter itself or if it's a drive motor for the meter. Need to remember to turn the vacs back on. I shut them off because they howl when you're working. Okay, both those are running. Got the section control on. Auto steer. Okay, it should start planting. The seed discs, um, they spin on a plate, and you can tighten them for how, how tight you want them to that plate. And they run pretty tight. Um, but this one, we've been loosening it all afternoon, trying to get it to work better, or all day. And it worked good for a couple hours, now it's acting up again. So, uh, yeah, we switched units. It's been number five, we put number five on number six. I guess it acts up again. And it's number six. We know it's uh, something catching in the unit itself, in the, in the meter. And if, if row five show, shows up with the other, the different meter on it, now that row six is on row five, we'll know that it's a, a drive motor problem because that stays with the unit. So we'll see what happens. And knowing how it goes, we probably won't act up the rest of the day, so we won't, we'll not have learned anything. but. That's the way it goes, I guess. I'll leave it for Carson when we plant beans uh, in a couple days, which is just a half mile from here. We got peas going in on uh, Tuesday. That'll be a new experience for us. I've never had canning peas before. And yeah, then we got 150 acres of beans. And then, it, then the fight against the weeds begins. So like I said, this field worked up really nice. Uh, I've been working the, usually work the uh, organic fields twice, just because if you don't want any weeds to get ahead of your corn plant. 
So if you got a one inch weed when you plant, it'll be six inches tall when you time the corn comes up and you're behind to begin with. So at the very least you want the corn and the weed to start growing the same day. So we're gonna then we'll drag it here in a couple days again. You wanna it's a big the first few days of corn planting or the first few days of your organic planting are pretty important because that's where you win or lose the battle against the weeds. And uh, so yeah, I kind of wish we were staggering the planting on the corn a little bit, but it's getting to be getting to be the time of the year where we'll have a little yield loss if we don't get it in. And uh, it's a nice have. I wish we were planted about three, four days apart, so you wouldn't have so many acres to cover at once. The rock, but that's the way it goes. And then. I really wish we could wait a week before we plant beans, but we'll probably get those in right away too, because we're just getting late enough in the year. We had about, I don't know, four inches of rain last week, which was very needed, but it uh, kind of threw a wrench in some of our plants. The other thing that's really nice is when you plant the organic, if you can stay dry for uh, as long as you can after you plant it, because if you plant it and you get a lot of rain, then yeah, then you're behind on the weeds again. So we're kind of picking our planting times more on more what the calendar looks like. We can get a few good, nice dry days. In this in this area, you never get a dry week forecasted, but right now we got about four days before the next rains forecast, and it's at this point it's not very heavy rain, so. So we had a 70s song, I'm safe there. Uh, the uh, trouble seems to have followed us to row six. So it is a row meter or a, uh, a meter problem, not a drive motor problem. So that sounds cheaper anyway. Uh, the organic corn, I don't think the graphite that we use, the graphite baby powder or talcum powder mix that we use to lubricate the units is approved so we're running with uh, we don't have any powder in there so I'm wondering if maybe that isn't the, the reason we're having more issues but it's still just one row so so I don't know I'm just hoping we make it the end of the day that I can let Carson deal with it again Let's see how I did today uh, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, seventeen. Oh, that'll come though. Well. We've got twelve calls to Chris for the day. Some of that was just uh, trying to get the other stuff going, how we want to set the other fuel cultivator. We've got the uh, Got the vertical till going in the soybean field, trying to cut up the stalks a little more. So that, to get through the day to get to run this planter, I've got one, four calls there, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven calls to Carson for the day. I did see uh, Carson left a little bit of his. He did look like an idiot with shades on. Okay, so we switched uh, varieties and our multiples are high. I've been running 0.1% all day long and uh, the planter's not liking this seed very well. So, I'll st this is my back pressure. The seed is metered. There's a vacuum that holds the pulls the seed against the disc. So that's how we meter the seed. And I think I got to go. There we go. We're getting down a little bit. I was at two percent, which is very unacceptable. 
said I was running about 0.1% multiples, 0.1 skips all, all morning, all day. And now we switch seed and it's uh, getting a little more problematic. So I don't want to make too big a jumps because there's still a little bit of the other seed in the planter. And uh, I want to make sure I get all that metered through. But I don't have enough experience with it this year. I don't know what what's acceptable. 0.4, 0.5%. That don't sound too bad. I don't know if I dare go much further on the. Yeah, we're having having individual units act up. I bet I'm betting it's because we don't have the lubrication that we usually run. going down a little bit more but I don't think that's I don't think you're supposed to get it too low here multiples hurt yield more than skips um, if there's a blank, if it misses a kernel, the kernel will, or the, most of these, most of these hybrids are flex hybrids. So they'll, uh, they'll put a bigger ear on if they have more room to grow. But if you have a double, if you have two seeds grow next to each other, they'll both probably put on a little ear that isn't big enough to go through the combine. So, so that's what you... You really don't want multiples. Now it's 0.5%, well, 0.7. I guess that might just be where it's at. Turn around here and uh, maybe try to slow it down, see if that helps. I don't think it will, but. Yeah, I'm going straight seven and eight and a half mile an hour today. It's amazing how fast it goes. I was used to playing around five and a half, and uh, yeah, a little speed is nice. Had to throw some bags on the planter for finishing up. That was kind of remember the old days. We planted for years with a forty foot. 16 row 30 inch planter and that was a box planter so no central fill that had hopper extensions on it so you could get about two and a half bags per if it was empty you get about two and a half bags per uh, fill in there so 40 bags of fill one year I think there was 900 900, close to a thousand bags of seed. Oops, what did I just do? Guess we're good. Now one year we had close to a thousand bags of seed and uh, uh, run. A unit racked it up again. Okay, so we got our unit running again. Um, yeah, so one year, I think we, one of those years with the 16 row, we, and 22, 2,000 acres of corn or so. There's a short thousand acres of uh, thousand bags of seed. I mean, that was before boxes and seed tenders. So and it was all bags, every every bit of it. And I think I had helped fill in the planter maybe twice. So now I know why my back hurts after. Uh, at that time, I always ran all the time from. Put the box in, run back to the pickup and get another one or the trailer. And then on top of that, we put some uh, insecticide on too that year. That was all in bags. Of course, that stuff was dangerous to breathe. And then we had some uh, some kind of pixie dust we were supposed to put in there. We were supposed to make something better. Then we had to use a drill with a paint mixer and mix all, the, all that in there. So Yeah, I think I'd spend up to two hours filling the planter by myself. So. The seed tender, you back up and 
getting up in 2,000 pounds or 4,000 pounds in 10 or 20 minutes. It's okay. Six o'clock and uh, got our 300 acres done. So not a banner day, but it's nice that uh, nice that I didn't have any problems. That it's going to be late tonight. I'll get home at a decent time. Playing Billy Joel now, so that's okay.